All right, welcome back. It's still Wake Up Nigeria. And of course, we are on to our parenting segment with Izefwa, our parenting experts. And this morning, she'll be enlightening us on how to enlighten your kids on feeling capable and, and growing, building confidence. Building confidence yeah. Yes. <laughs> so I'm just learning this morning that teaching your child how to be capable is different from building confidence in that child. And building confidence is different from building self-esteem, but we're gonna take it one step at a time, right? Yeah. All right, so let's talk about helping your child to be capable. Yes, yeah, so generally we tend to equate self-esteem, confidence, and what a lot, a lot of times we don't know is what we're actually trying to do, self-efficacy, that is feeling capable. That simply means just having that deep sense that I can handle this. Yeah. So I'm coming for the show. I have butterflies in my tummy. Mm. I could have said, I'm not going to do this today. That I'm not, I can do this is simply because I am feeling I can't handle what happens afterwards. Okay. Would I be great? Mm. Would I be good? Can I do it properly? Now, that's self-efficacy, which is feeling capable. And it's, not, it's feeling capable to pursue our goals. And that's why this is important at the beginning of the year, right? Yes. Feeling capable that my child can set a goal for academic performance and actually go for it, do the practice, do the work. Feeling capable that as your child, or a teenager, not just children, mm. they can choose that I want to grow meaningful friendships and not just move around with anybody. And feeling that I can handle, I can actually handle being with friends. Mm. I can handle going out. I can handle my friends laughing, laughing and jeering at me. Mm. I can cope with that, that thing. Or when it comes to even emotional lives of our teens or even our children. So that distinction is really huge. Okay. And that feeling capable is a belief. And we all have it. Okay. Some of us feel we can't handle life. Mm. And that underlies issues with mental health. Hmm. Okay, now we are delving deeper into this conversation, which I'm quite, I'm quite enjoying. But I'm, I'm a new mother. Okay. How do I, in, how do I in help my child as a baby? Because it, you have to catch them young. You, have, you start from day exact, one. You start from day one. Mm -hmm. So how do I teach her, you know, that you have to learn to be capable. You have to learn self -proficiency. So, MM, I will start from what you just said. You have to learn to be. A lot of times, parents think that we can teach this by just what we say. Mm. I've had a lot of parents, and that's why this topic is important. Parents have come to say, how can I help my child build confidence? Parents say, I tell my child, you can do it. You can do it. And I say, that doesn't do much. Oh, okay. Yeah, because if I tell you, you can do it, and I interfere with your doing it, you develop a belief that you can't. Here's what I mean. The first thing is, as parents, we jump into conclusions. Okay. So how do I help my child? No jumping into conclusions. What that simply means is, your child says, mommy, can I cut this? Can I help you with this? The first thing is, no, 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 it's going to hurt you. Mm. I assume she can't or he can't, and I intervene or interfere. Mm. And that limits them. Immediately, once you do then you do, over time, they, you set limits about what they can or cannot do. So they begin to feel, I can't do this, or I can do this. So instead of jumping into conclusion about what your child is capable of, mm. I rather suggest get curious. Get curious. Get curious. So allow them, allow but see them. how far they the, take it. You are not measuring, can they? Oh, okay. Get curious, just enjoy the experience. You've, have you ever experienced when children say, I want to open the door for you, and I want to do this? Yeah. Step out of their business. Don't overprotect. Now, our parenting style interferes with this. Either we want to control them, overprotect them, prevent them from getting hurt, step out of the situation. But don't you feel that giving them so much power, mm -hmm. yes, we are getting back to that I love conversation. It. Mm -hmm. Giving them so much power actually affects them in the nearest future, How? even in their relationship with their peers as I they mean, grow older. I love that you said giving them power. Guess what? Giving power actually is like the foundation of feeling capable. When I feel I have power to do something, that ability, right? Yes. I feel capable to do it. I have goals I've set. There are some goals I've set. 
year in, year out, I have not accomplished, and there are many adults that say that. So just saying, just do it doesn't work. Okay. The moment you feel, I have ability, I have some control to get this done. Mm. I have control in me to deal with what happens should this not work. Mm. That is power. And we should not be scared to give them power. Power does not affect. Now, I'm not saying arrogance, those are different things. Okay. That's not arrogance. Or stubbornness. That's, that's not stubbornness. That's not stubbornness. Power is letting the child have control over their life. Like the other day, my baby walked into the kitchen and mommy, I want to join you to cook. I want to help you to cook. When in a hurry, a lot of times, like, and I had to stop myself to say, you know what? What can she support me with? That's how they feel capable. Okay, can you hold on to this? Put that in the bag, cut this. Mommy, I can handle the scissors, take it. I'm standing there. They teach them to handle those, these things in school. Mm -hmm. They do these things in school. They come and we don't let them try. Okay. So yes, let them try. Don't jump into conclusions and stop interfering. Okay, now let's move over to building self-confidence, mm -hmm. which is very key. There are a lot of kids who are going through bullying, which is, you know, a very sensitive issue right mm -hmm. now in a lot of schools mm -hmm. and with a lot of children. How do you instill this confidence in kids? So what is confidence? Confidence is my belief in my, cap in my so capability again, is my belief in my strengths. Mm. So I step into a situation and I feel that I have potential in me to handle this thing. More like I have skills. Yes. So confidence on its own is situational. This is what I mean. Okay. You find yourself that you get into situations that you feel confident. There are some situations you feel confident. You're with a group of people, you feel confident. You're with other group of people, don't. you don't. So do you say you're not a confident person? That's a generalization, which you shouldn't do. Okay. Oh, she's a confident child. He's not a confident child. Mm. There are situations that he feel confident. So practically, how can I help my child feel confident? Take note of those specific situations okay. where they feel confident and the ones where they don't feel confident. Let me give you an example. Okay. When it comes to my daughter's academic work, she's this way, right? But I notice when she's told to present things, she starts to fidget. Fidgets. So I can conclude, oh, she's not a confident girl. No, she is. But, but situationally, she gets intimidated, or she used to, by being in front of the crowd. Okay. So because I understood that, I began to work with her on that. So what do I do? Exactly. Expose them to do more of it. Okay. Mastery. To build confidence, the first day you started being on the show. It wasn't perfect. And how do you feel today? Oh, great. Because you practice. Yeah. So mastery, mm. expose them to do more, to do more. They're going to feel uncomfortable, but guess what? The more they do, so efficacy is also related to confidence. confidence. The more they do, the more they find, hmm. I can actually do this. This is what I do before I do this. So they know the skills that support them mm. to grow confidence. Yeah. So mastery. Okay, and then what about with friends? Because that is also very important as well. Let them get out. Guess what? Confidence has a lot. So there's confidence with people. That's trust. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. That is trust. Okay. So this gets us to the point where we'll have to say that we're, this is definitely going to be we're a series. We're going next week. Yes. Yeah. We'll have to continue this conversation next week because it's important. Yeah. Building confidence, building your, your child's self-esteem is very important. And we need to have this conversation. Like you said, it's what's affecting a lot of our mental health these days. And it starts from when we're young. Absolutely. It absolutely. starts from when we're young. Thank you so much. Thank Isefra. you for having me. Always a pleasure having you. Cheers. All right.